the generation I grew up in, it was closed door. But, you know, it's a different time. It was my sentiment with Courtney. It's incredibly brave nowadays because not only are you traumatized from what he's done, but you're probably traumatized over and over and over. But he needs to be held accountable. And I hope she finds peace and whatever that means for her. I we went to a residential rehab. It was based on kind of what you were struggling with, which they placed me in the trauma lodge. I had a specialty therapist. She's like, what's, what's the last time you felt really uncomfortable, really embarrassed, really afraid? And I went into the night. I remember the music that was playing really vividly. I remembered the feeling of the ropes on my wrist. It was just very surreal. I felt like I was like back in that room, back in that moment. I got diagnosed with trauma and PTSD. My therapist said I had to repeat, I was used, abused, and abandoned. So you're like trying to make sense of what happened. And that's what she had me repeat over and over. Like, it's not your fault you feel this way. It really stuck with me and it really made sense. That's truly what happened. I was used, abused, abandoned, just discarded after just having my life turned inside out. <laughs> 